Hello everyone, it's Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to do a clean cycle. So is this clean light or is your machine saying clean? I'm going to show you how to use the tablets, the espresso machine cleaning tablets. This is not the descale video. I'll be doing a separate video on how to descale it. This one's simply going to be how to do cleaning. Now you can do the clean if the clean light comes on, but you can also, if you're noticing a, a, a difference in the taste of your espresso, we can do a back flush of the shower head with these cleaning tablets to hopefully help improve taste. I will be following the manual step by step. Now step one, I think it's very important. You wanna make sure that this, this tray is completely empty. Just pour all the water out this little spout. We wanna make sure that this main tray is completely empty of water. Now there would have been a box that came in your um, box with the espresso machine. It's called the cleaning accessories. It comes with two tablets. Now also in that, it would have came with this cleaning disc. Now there's where you're supposed to store it in the future. But here's what the cleaning disc looks like. Next, make sure your water reservoir is completely full. That's very important. Grab your port filter and you're gonna be using the double basket. So put the double basket in all the way. Now you're gonna find this, you're gonna put this in. Make sure this little handle is in the up position. Now get one of your cleaning tablets. All right, be very careful of these. Now Ninja says they're going to make these available on their website. Now I don't have these, but I think you could use these active espresso machine cleaning tablets also. I just checked, they're not available yet, so make sure it's centered on that little rubber thing. Now put the port filter in just like you would normal, rotate it to the lock position. Now get a container that can hold a bunch of hot water. Okay, you're gonna press the clean button, all right? That light is on and you're gonna press the center button on the dial. So the cleaning has started. It will take approximately six minutes. Oh yeah, you don't, it doesn't back, I'm sorry, you don't need this. <laughs> the water goes into the drip tray. I get so used to descaling. So it's back flushing. Water's not gonna come out here, but it's gonna come down in this head and then go back through and I don't really know exactly how it cleans it. But that's a countdown timer, oh cool. So sometimes it makes you think it's not doing anything, but there is a status bar going across. I think it builds up pressure and then it stops. Yeah. And I can hear the water going into the drip tray. Now they don't tell us how often that clean light comes on or the D scale. I'll try to find it if I can, but if you know, leave it in the comments down below. And I think the only notification you get is that the light, it doesn't, the display doesn't say anything. You just get that light comes on letting you know that it's time. Now we do get just a couple drips out. So definitely make sure. That might have just been residual from what was in the port filter. Okay, it built up pressure maybe five or six times. Now it's done, it's at zero. Oh, it doesn't beep at you. Interesting. Okay, be careful, there's gonna be hot water. Yep, there is. So we're supposed to wash this by hand, rinse all of this out. Let's take a look at the shower head. I didn't wipe that down either, so it's always a good idea that it's really, really hot. You can take a Phillips screwdriver and take that out and clean it, or you can just wipe it down. Now, I like to, let's, I'll wash this basket out, but I like to run a little bit. That seems like a pretty harsh chemical. So I wanna run some water, just some plain water through it. Let's just tie out, turn the dial to classic. Just, sorry about that. Go to the eight ounce or six ounce setting and just hit brew. And let's brew into this. I'm gonna do this, like this is like a fresh water rinse. Definitely wanna clean this up really good too. And as a side note, that did fill the drip tray up. So 
we've got to empty that and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And again, that's just going to be fresh water coming out. I might do a couple of those just to get that nice and clean. All right, be careful. There will be some hot water in the top of that also. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the drip tray. It's full, so be careful and it's hot. But there's this handy little pour spout. I oh, love wow, that's very well designed. Now you would just do this in the sink, but I just I'm doing it for demonstration purposes. So no real, I mean it's hard to tell. I had some residual in there anyway, but nothing like a big chemical smell or anything. So so after this, your clean light should be out. And again, I don't know how often it comes on. You can do this anytime you think your espresso is not tasting the best. Or even like say you change to a different type of bean and you're wanting to make sure you dial it in. I have a video on how to dial it in. I have a video on how to use every, how to make every drink on this. Uh, I will be doing a video on how to descale it. That does take quite a while. I think like 60 minutes or so. So, But they do give you a little bit of descaling solution in that. And they do say all this stuff will be available on the website. I just checked. It's not available yet. I do think this one's going to come on more often than the descale, but not really sure yet. I bought this with my own money and I highly recommend it. I was not paid for this video. This is my honest opinion on this. I got I got 15 videos on this so far. Absolutely love it. Again, bought it for $500. I highly recommend it. That's a great price point for the amount of drinks and how easy this is to use. Be sure and check out my own coffee, Just a Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can buy it in the whole bean form. All the drinks that I have made, have, I've used my own coffee. It does great as espresso and in the cold coffee drinks. Right underneath the video, you'll see a a box where you can purchase the uh, coffee at my website, just dadcoffee.com. Also, I use links. So even though I wasn't paid for this video and I bought it, they didn't send it to me for free or anything. I bought it with my own money. I do earn money off of links. So underneath the video, you'll see a link. This will take you to the Ninja website or to Amazon or even possibly Walmart. I'm going to affiliate with all of those. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can do these how-to videos. I read the manual step-by-step, step, show you maybe a little bit behind the scenes, you know, just kind of a really in-depth of how to clean it. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support, and I love what I do, and thanks so much. Also, be sure and check out my coffee, Just a Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can buy it at justadadcoffee.com, or underneath the video, there'll be a little pop-up where you can buy it off of my store. That'll take you to justadadcoffee.com. I sell it in the whole bean and the ground coffee and in the K cup. And I ordered mine about a week ago and that's what I've been using in this espresso machine and I absolutely love it. The beans look a little bit light, but it's a dark to medium roast. I think it tastes really good. I've had iced coffee, regular coffees, and I, I've had espressos. So this coffee, the coffee that I sell does really good with espresso, iced coffee, cold brew coffee, and just regular coffee in this machine and also other drip coffee makers. So if you're looking for a coffee bean that just works in the brand new Ninja Espresso machine, just a dad simple sip coffee. So if you could give me a follow over on Instagram and I have two Facebook pages, a Facebook page and a Facebook group page. I really would appreciate a follow. I do free giveaways there and kind of behind the scenes and how things are going. And that's the best way to communicate with me. Uh, my group page, you can leave a post and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can, but that's the best way to ask me questions and to see what's going on with the page. And again, I do use affiliate links. I am an affiliate with Shark and Ninja, Amazon and Walmart. So if one of the links down below, you click on it, it takes you to one of those websites and you end up purchasing the product. The product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos that I love. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up button, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe, leave in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see something else reviewed or this compared to something, I look at the comments and I really do appreciate everybody's feedback. So again, if you could please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.